Hello everyone, in this episode we will work on attaching weapons to the character while character are using uh, another weapon. Let's start by preparing the asset. Open the character skeleton and we will need to add some sockets. First let's add a socket for a pistol on the right up leg. Name it pistol socket. Next add a pistol as a preview and adjust the socket transform to fit the pistol model onto the character. Also select a preview animation where the character is holding a rifle. If you need to fix pistol transform, just stop animation and do it. Then add the socket to the spine to bone and name it Rifle Socket. Add the rifle as a preview and adjust the socket transform for better look. Next check how it looks with the sum of pistol animations. It, it actually looks good. Next open the blueprints weapon folder. And add in enum code BPE weapon type. Open it and add two weapon types, pistol and rifle. Then open BP weapon data asset and add a variable called weapon type of BP weapon type. Also set corresponding weapon types for each data asset. Finally open BP weapon. And remove the setting of relative transform. Next open BP character. First add a scene component. named current weapon socket and attach it to the right hand. Then add another scene component called pistol socket and attach it to the pistol socket location. Also add the scene component for the rifle socket. Attach this to the rifle socket. Finally attach weapon to rifle socket and rename it to rifle. Also set the rifle as a default data asset. Next add the gun to the pistol socket. and name it Pistol and set Pistol as the default data asset. Now create a variable named current weapon of type BP weapon. Rename the old weapons variable to weapons1 or another name. Also add a new variable named weapons which is an array of BP weapon.
Add a variable named weapon type socket. Set it as a map with BPA weapon type as the key and sync component as the value. Next, open the set weapon function. Change the input type to BP weapon. At the start of the function, add a sequence node. Move the old code to the Zen 2 pin. And remove the set asset step. Also replace new weapon with new weapons data asset. Now we need to apply new weapons data asset transform to current weapon socket because we remove the transform application from BP weapon. From the Zen 0 pin, use the validated get of the current weapon. Get data asset from current weapon. From the data asset, retrieve the weapon type. Then find the corresponding socket using the weapon type socket map. Attach current weapon to the socket. Setting all rules to snap to target. From the Zen 1 pin, set new weapon to current weapon. Then attach current weapon to current weapon socket. Also setting all rules to snap to target. Next set the function called init weapon. Add a sequence node. And in the Zen 0 pin. Initialize the weapon type socket map by using make map. Set the corresponding sockets to their enum values. Then make array with the rifle and pistol as elements. Next call for each on this new array. For each old actor of array element, Cast it to BP weapon. And call add on the weapons array. From the Zen 1 pin. Get the current weapon from the weapons array and call set weapon. Next, in the construction script, call init weapon. Then replace the old weapons array in IA switch weapon.
and then remove the old array. For the latest step, we need to replace some references to rifle in various place with current weapon. You can use find usages to do this faster. Replace all instances in common graph. And in function get weapon info. Lastly for variables related to weapons, create a category named weapon. Also place init weapon and set weapon functions in the weapon category. Now let's check how it works. And everything works well, thank you for your attention and see you soon!